Hello everybody welcome to Shyam Story Time today we are going to see the next episode of King Vikramaditya series i am ready to listen today's story is called the great thief so it happened that Pesa Madandai princess has already spoken two times in that night so king vikramaditya wanted to make her speak once more so that he can get married to her so here was the screen that was sitting between them and it's narrating a story already it had narrated two stories at the end of each of them pesa madandai had spoken king vikramaditya asked the screen once again can you tell me another story so who was actually inside the screen you must remember it is the vetala vetala started by narrating the story long 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 ago there was a great kingdom it was ruled by a king he had a minister he had an inspector general he had a lot of courtiers and so many people lived in the kingdom in the same kingdom lived a thief he was called the great thief and he had four sons each of his sons were called quarter thief half thief three fourths thief Full thief. Those were the names of his sons. Great thief, the father, one day decided that he would bequeath all his wealth to his sons. But before that, he wanted to see how they are proving their greatness or power. So the great thief, the father, called his oldest son, who was quarter thief, and told him, "I want you to prove how great you are in the act of robbing." So. please go to the city do something and come back and tell me what you did let me see your prowess now quarter thief was very happy he bade bye to his father and he came to the heart of the city on the way he collected a lot of stones and carved them in the shape of gold coins he even painted them with gold he had all of these stones painted as gold coins in a bag he wanted to deceive somebody straight he came to a salon In that salon, a barber was there giving a haircut to a poor man. So, quarter thief came there and asked the barber, "Look here, can you give me a haircut? I can pay you hundred paise." He said. In those days, a barber would take about five paise for a haircut. Now, here was somebody at the barber's doorstep giving twenty times more. The barber said, "Why not?" He immediately stopped working on the poor man. He asked quarter thief to sit there, and he gave him a nice haircut. At the end of it, quarter thief gave him just one gold coin. Remember, it is a stone shaped in the form of a coin and painted gold. So he gave it to him and said, "Look here, I don't have hundred paisa in change, but you can have one gold coin." He said. The barber said, "No, no, I don't want to take so much from you. You can get change from some other shop and give it to me. I will send my son with you. He had a little son in the shop. The barber said." So the barber said, "Take my son with you. You go find change for your gold coin. Give only hundred paise and send him back." So the son was sent. Quarter thief took the son with him and straight went to a silk merchant's shop. It was a huge shop which had lots and lots of silk clothing. And now he had a great haircut and he looked very regal also. So the silk merchant thought that he had a big client today and he welcomed him. Quarter thief picked up about two hundred pieces of silk clothing, and it was a lot of profit for the silk merchant. At the end of it, quarter thief told the silk merchant, "Look here, I'm going to take all of these two hundred silk pieces to my home, but my wife may pick only a few from here. I will return the rest. You can have this bag of gold coins. I can even leave my son with you in the shop, just in case." He said. The silk merchant was more than happy. He said, "Okay, sure, leave the bag and your son." let him be here you take these clothing and then let your wife choose whatever she wants after you return the rest you can come and pick up your son who was that little boy it was the barber's son you must remember quarter thief left the boy and the bag of gold coins and he picked up all the 200 pieces of clothing he went back home gave it to his father and told him all that happened look here how i deceived the barber and the cloth merchant His father was very happy. Today he had robbed two hundred pieces of silk cloth. He kept it there. And meanwhile, he, since the client did not return, the silk merchant started to speak to the boy and asked him where his father was. The little boy said, "My father is a barber. He is in the saloon." 
The silk merchant was taken aback. This man who came with you claimed to be your father. No, no, he is not my father. Immediately checked the bag. The bag was full of stones. He understood that he was deceived. Immediately, the silk merchant ran to the king. Along came the barber as well. He told the king, look here, there is a robbery that happened today and he narrated everything that happened. The king called his inspector general and told him, you find out what is happening in the city and find who the thief is. So this job was given to the inspector general. Back in the great thief's home, he called his second son. He was called half thief. And his father said the same thing. Look here, half thief, I want you to show your prowess in the act of robbing. Let me see what you can do today. Oh, he was very happy. He said bye to his brothers and father, came to the city. He went around the city and inquired what was happening. Found out that the previous day there was a great robbery. A barber and a silk merchant have been deceived. So he wanted to do something bigger than that. He also got to know that the inspector general was given the job of finding out who the thief is. Half thief also found out another info. This inspector general had a wife and a daughter. And many, many years ago, he had a son who was lost. Okay, while going to the bazaar or something, the boy was lost. So half thief decided he will go directly and see the inspector general. So he went to the inspector's house and then spoke to his wife and daughter and said, I am your son whom you lost like 20 years ago. I have come back. And then he concocted a story around it and made them believe it. Now the inspector general and his wife were so happy. They embraced their son and the inspector took him around the city. As he was taking him, he came to a particular place where there was a big cell. Cell is like a jail. And he said, look here, this is a jail in which I want to put that thief who deceived the barber and the cloth merchant. In fact, if I put somebody inside and close the door, nobody can open this. The keys to this jail is actually at my home. Half thief said, oh, that sounds wonderful. I will go inside. Let me see how you lock the door. He said, Inspector General said, oh, you are my son. I don't want to do it. But if you are very keen to see, I will go inside the jail chambers. You can lock the gate. Go and fetch the key from home, he said. Half thief said, okay, and made the inspector general enter the jail. He closed it. He told him, wait here. I will go fetch the key. He came to the house of the inspector general. He told his wife, dear mother, you see, father has sent me. You have to pack all your jewelry and important valuables that you have packed in a big bag and give it to me because it is suspected that the thief of yesterday is going to come to our house today. Oh, she said, is it so? And then she packed all her jewelry, started with precious gems, so many valuables that they had in two big boxes, gave it to the half thief. He brought it to his home and gave it to his father. He narrated everything. The father was very happy. Back there, it was found out that the inspector general is put in jail and his own home has been robbed of all the jewelry and valuables. Now the king was aghast. He called his minister and said, two days consecutively robberies have happened in our kingdom. I am giving you the responsibility to find out who those thieves are. So the minister started to find out. He went around the city inquiring all the details of the robberies that happened in the last two days. That's the end of today's episode. Do you all like today's story? If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sham Story Time. You will have access to all the stories that I upload. Every Saturday, you get to hear a story of King Vikramaditya in English. And on Sundays, there is a story of Panchatantra in Tamil for you. All of them you can hear from the comfort of your mobile phone. My name is Shamala and I am a passionate storyteller. I will meet you in the next episode. Bye-bye.